Hey, what's up, guys? Perry the Entertainer here, giving you guys another raw recap. Got some special guests in the studio. Introduce and, yourself. Hey, guess who's first? Me, 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 me. Well, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I know you weren't gonna un uh, <coughs> excuse me. I know you ain't gonna uh, expect me. Um, but this is Black with Evil Two. Just giving you guys a little quick ten second heads up. I won't be able to be um making videos till July 10th because I was a surprise for you guys. So I will be back as soon as possible as soon as I'm done with my graduation break. It is almost done. And we have our Over the Limit Contest winner. Hit it up. Thanks guys. It's me, Nasty RKO Specialist and I'm here to do another Raw recap with the BWE Entertainer. So let's get started. Alright, let's get this started. As you guys can tell already, the surprise was a Miz shirt. Very cool. I like it. It's pretty yeah, cool. That's, yeah, that's because he got sick. Sorry for he wasn't starting the storm or anything because he was sick. And the hat matches, so boo fuck me <laughs> up. So let's start this Raw recap. Like I said, I have all my stuff starred that I'm going to be talking about in the afterthought tomorrow. So you look like a cooked marshmallow. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay then, let's get started. Our truth. Well, first of all, we started with what I'm watching right now. Tough enough. Uh, Andy Levine won. I congratulate him. And uh, he got Which stunned. Fuck wanted Luke to win, so he got <laughs> stunned by Vince. Or no, he got stunned by Stone Cold Stone and slapped Cold. by Vince. And as that happened, our truth came out, and our truth came out in this very weird. Uh, uh, he was trying to reenact uh, uh, the. Like a, uh, Indian outfit, like, it was like Indian, uh, a like war one outfit. One of those outfits from World War Two, something like that. So it, it was funny. It was a good segment to start off the show. It uh, was a great segment, especially when he had that uh, outfit, like I just said a moment ago. And I, mm -hmm. and I just liked his uh, sword. He made it looks like it was copper or something. And then, you know, one by one, The Miz came out. He's talking about how much Alex Riley sucks. Alex Riley comes out and says, okay, you know what, Miz? How about we do that? And then, obviously, John Cena comes out. And then, later for tonight, is announced, is The Miz and R-Truth take on the Alex Riley and John Cena. Now, normally, you wouldn't see this match probably anywhere because usually you would see Truth as the face and Riley as the heel. So, And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, sorry about the background, boys. <laughs> it's just my fan, and I'm, like, getting hot. Sorry about that. Continue, right. Perry. Nasty RKO Specialist, do you have any thoughts? Also, guys, the guest referee was Stone Cold oh, yeah, Austin tonight. And yes, 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 yes. Match. Yes, I forgot about that, ladies and gentlemen. Or should I say he forgot about that? All right, so... All right, co continue, Specialist. All right, so let's go to the first match. Oh, sorry, I'm going ahead. I thought, I thought you were done with your opinion. All right. Oh, you're good? Okay, that's my fault. Go All ahead, right. Perry. So we'll start off with the first match. Santino Morella versus M Michael McGillicuddy, and I could have swore I thought this was supposed to be met for a Superstars match. Uh, I also thought it was going to be like a tag team match, like Santino Morella and Vladimir Kozlov, because I thought they would be um, going on because they were former tag team champions. And I thought it would be for the championship as well, but oh well. It's the way it goes. And, you go by Vince says. And in one word, if I had to if I had to sum this match up in one word. Boring. My guy could have fell asleep, but I was talking to these two, so how can you fall asleep talking to these two? Uh, <laughs> uh if you guys don't have the experience, seriously, just join the BWE Entertainers, seriously. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's a party Speaking of that, um, just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as soon as I come back on the 10th, uh, I'm, I will be waiting a couple of days, and then the next week of Raw, I will be starting the Capital Punishment Contest, just getting you guys a heads up. The Capital Punishment Contest should start in two weeks, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two weeks so... Of, no, yeah, the, the Raw before Capital Punishment. Yeah. Uh, anyway, your winner is Santino Morella. Very simple, stupid match. Um, second match of the night, Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix took on the Bella Twins. Um, ah. Honestly, it was ah. an okay ah. match. Ah. Knowing that Sorry. there was no karma, knowing that there was no karma, it was actually a pretty good match. You know, Kelly and uh, Beth really 
uh, took more of the you know offensive until. Of course, there's no karma because of her pregnancy. And then there was this one point in the match where Beth Phoenix botched. She just fell off. I wouldn't really call that a botch, but she just fell. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't really call that a botch though, but. It was it was honestly solid match. It was actually a very good match for a Divas match. But your winners are Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix. Excuse me. Um, I'm assuming that you guys don't have any thoughts on this. I do. Uh, that match was kind of epic to me, especially when uh, uh, what's her name? The Glamazon did the Grand Slam on him. That got me laughing. I mean, I I mean that what got him done for. And also, I knew that there would be no karma because of last week of what she said, because of the pregnancy. Any thoughts, Nasty? Um, the only thing I'd like to say before this match, they had a karma recap from last week. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Um, solid, solid commentary there. So, uh, third match of the night, CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio, a rematch from last week. Uh, there was a little microphone botch at the beginning because CM Punk said Ray has never beaten him. Uh, that's obviously a lie. But, um, it was a pretty solid. Really? Oh, what you do, man? I had to stop it. Like I said, it was a solid match. It was very good. Uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, Punk had. Punk said that Ray has never beaten him, but obviously, WrestleMania, when he got his head shaved, uh, couple months before that, but what, uh, <laughs> that was funny, that was funny, uh, actually not at, uh, Wrestlemania, it was back at, uh, last year's Over the Limit, yeah, and then Wrestlemania, oh, yeah, 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 no, wait, doesn't it go Wrestlemania, then Over the Limit, mm -hmm. yep. you know what, that's right, that's yep. right, because it's Wrestlemania, then Extreme Rules, then, uh, Over the Limit, yeah, all right, so like I said, it was a pretty solid match. Uh, your winner, Rey Mysterio. Um, honestly, it was actually a solid match. You know, Rey Mysterio kind of impressed me in this match. So, um, yeah, basically that's it. Now on to Brock's favorite part of the show. Alberto Del Rio cuts a major promo. Fantastic mic work by this guy. It was, it was very, very. I mean. Very good predicament by Ricardo Rodriguez when he was dressed as the Big Show. He was, he took um, I think he was it was bananas or buns, and he used it to just to make him fat. And he took these ah, uh, what are they called crunches or something like that, and he walked them down in the ring. He tried to, he, well, he of course he's Mexican, aka he speaks Spanish, but um. He tried to talk to Big Show, or should I say Ricardo Rodriguez, saying, uh, D, what do you think? How hard are you? And stuff like that. He goes like this. Brrr! He raises his hand up. That was classic. That was classic. All right, so uh, how about we just have Nasty explain his thoughts towards this? Because yeah. he, he couldn't yeah, stop talking. He couldn't stop talking when his promo yeah. was over. Nasty, yeah. what are your thoughts? Yeah, uh, Nasty, what's... This was one of the funniest promos I've ever seen. Uh, Del Rio calling out the Big Show. Uh, Ricardo comes out, uh, and they, and he had a baseball glove on, and he raises it up in the air like his massive hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was banana. That was classic. He's eating a oh. banana, Ricardo, at the Big Show, and uh, and then uh, I don't quite frankly know what. Uh, Del Rio says at the end, but he uh, says something to the Big Show saying, like, pretty much, if you want a piece he's of the bad things, get him. Yeah, he's gonna hurt him. Bad and things said, happen to bad people. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And he said, he, it's not a threat, it's a promise. And that's what I always say to people. Like, like I say, um, if you do this, I'll put water in the blah 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 blah. You know how I am. And I say, when I, it's not a threat, it's a promise. Alright, so, uh, like I said, I'll give my individual thoughts on that promo tomorrow night on the Afterthought. Um, oh, I want, I want to be in it. We want to be in it. It was classy. Alright, so moving on to the fourth match of the night. Kofi Kingston versus Long Island IZ. Zack Ryder finally makes uh, a match on Raw. Granted, he loses the match, but... 
At least he got some air time, thank God. It's Winner, weird, bro. Kofi Kingston. Yeah. Honestly, it was an okay match. Ryder really dominated the entire match until Kofi obviously does his pretty much John Cena thing where you predict that you know he what he's going to do. He hits the boom drop, he gets up, and then hits the trouble in paradise. That's it. Anyway. Yeah, because John Cena you know, always does the... Ah, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, uh, five, uh, knuckle, uh, that's five knuckle shuffle, then either STF or an attitude adjustment. Ness, do you got any thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, Ziggler and Vicky were on commentary tonight. Uh, you forgot about that, Perry, man! Alright, go ahead. Alright, Ziggler says, you know it, bro. A line from, uh... Zack Ryder, and uh, he also says, I don't care about the WWE Universe, I just win championship. He's just a faggot. That's just my opinion. He is, he's got good mic skills to me. That's what I think. This guy could be a very good commentator. Very good. I like yeah. when uh, CM Punk was a good commentator as well. Yeah, he was pretty good. All right, so moving on to the fifth match of the night, which was the backstage segment that brought or that Nasty wanted to talk about. Uh, Jack Swagger took on Booker T. Pretty, oh yeah, that was one of the best matches I've ever saw so far. Pretty solid match actually, but uh, your winner Booker T. Booker T wins by countout. But uh, as Jack Swagger leaves the ring, Evan Bourne comes in. He knocks Swagger into the ring. Uh, Booker hits a scissors kick on him, and as he hits the scissors kick, Evan Bourne hits us uh, airborne, and Evan Bourne and Booker T do a spin rooney in the middle of the ring. So you gotta love those spin roonies, man. Those dances never get old, especially if you were dancing with a rapper. Man. Like honestly, hey, sir, I can't. I'm shocked that he used spin roonies. Like honestly, I'm very glad, and I'm actually getting happy that. Evan Bourne is actually getting a push, and that's what I, that's the main thing I wanted to get across. Evan Bourne's finally getting a push. Just, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, another thing, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a little reminder. I think I said June 10th at the beginning. I made a mistake. It's July 10th. I come back. So, yeah. Continue, Nasty. What, what's your thoughts about that match? Uh, the only thing I really want to say is... Uh, Swagger and Evan Bourne at Capital Punishment. Guarantee. That's a guarantee right there, player. Alright. Now, if you guys can see in the background, it's basically that opening segment that I was telling you guys about. The R Truth it thing with the R Truth, Miz, Alex Riley, Cena, Stone Cold, and Vince in the ring. It's basically that, if you can see that over there. And then again, you need like Hawk Vision to see that because it's so like tiny. But anyway. Uh, Alright, uh, Moving I on. got something to say about uh, of course you Nasty do. saying about capital punishment back then. Um, I made a mistake. Oh, actually, I was going to say he was right about the capital punishment. It, they sh it should be a match, but uh, there was a match that I predicted. It would be The Miz and Alex Riley, and that is going to happen. Alright. Moving on to the main event of tonight. The Miz and R Truth took on John Cena and Alex Riley. Pretty solid tag team match. You know, your usual tag team match where the, the faces get the hot tag and, you know, they go, oh, they go back and forth and back and forth. And for some reason, this always happens now. It always nowadays, too. Whenever there's a special guest referee, the referee always gets involved. And I'm thinking. Are they just throwing this whole thing where the referees can't get involved? They're just throwing it out the window. Like, really? Bret Hart Especially, did that? Especially um, with Stone Cold Steve Austin did for his actions. This is just, this is way back hold on, at hold on, don't tell him. 27. Huh? So don't tell him the end of the match. What? Basically, basically what happens, um, Alex Riley hits the Miz, or actually... Stone Cold Steve Austin hits a stunner on The Miz. Miz turns around and gets hit with the uh, briefcase by Alex Riley. And John Cena gives him an AA, covers him 1, 2, 3, your winners. Originally, John Cena and Alex Riley, but 
the anonymous Raw General Manager comes on and says Stone Cold, Steve Austin, uh, for his actions, Cena and Riley are disqualified. Just like WrestleMania 27. And that then, is complete bullshit. And therefore, your winners, The Miz and R Truth. Bullshit. But then. Then this is like back at WrestleMania great. 27 with Michael Cole and Jerry the King of Lala. I mean, that, that's bullshit. That, when they first did that, that pissed me the hell off. But then we left Raw on a good note because uh, Stone Cold and John, John Cena beat up Michael Cole. I'm gonna watch it again tomorrow morning. Alright, Brock, you got any. Or not Brock. Nasty RK, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nasty, I'm sorry. I'm getting so used to it. Nasty, you got any thoughts on this? Uh, next week, a uh, three hour edition on Monday Night Raw, and the guest GM is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he fires Michael Cole since he's in his face and he says, I'm gonna see you first thing on Monday. Something like that. You know so. what? Before, before we go any like further, a... before we go any further, Nasty, is there something you want to say? No. Good. Are, are you sure? Because there was yeah. a little, little <laughs> there was a little uh, bet we had during before the match. What was? I forgot. You have to say that. Oh my! All right, years later. guys, since. The GM screwed uh, Cena and Riley. I have to say The Miz is awesome. So here you go. The Miz is awesome. Couldn't have said it better myself. One down, one down, one to go. Yeah, my, yeah uh, Black with Evil is going to be saying that very no, soon. No, I guys. am not. Not without a contract. Very I soon. Do, I know how to do virtual contracts. Trust me. All right, so basically, guys, that'll do it for me. Perry the Entertainer oh, here, Black with also, Evil. Also, I got an additional announcement uh, for next week um, about the All-Star thingy. Um, you know what? I'm thinking Now I'm thinking of buying the game. <laughs> I've had the game, actually, for a while. Yeah, I know. And you know what? Like I said at the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, I won't be able to do videos till July the 10th because I'm go to do an unbo unboxing video of a shirt and an, and some, some big surprise you guys are going to see. You you guys will be completely in shock. Alright, so uh, Nasty, is there anything you would like to promote or say before we go off? Oh, great to see Booker T back out there in the ring. Uh, so, thanks for uh, wrestling tonight, Booker, and uh, Alex Riley, just keep on pushing. You know what? That push gave me a shock. They repushed him back to Raw. That pissed me the hell off. He should stay on SmackDown. If he wants to stay away from The Miz, why won't he go back to SmackDown? I mean, seriously. Because at the uh, uh, Tuesday draft, they drafted him to SmackDown. Dear no, that pissed me the hell off. All right, so By the way, this is Black with Evil 2, and we have, of course, always will be the Over the Limit contest winner. That's the RKO Specialist. Thanks for watching. Uh, back to you, Perry. All right, so before I go off, I'm going to say a few things. First of all, I want to say uh, check out The Storm this Friday. Obviously, same time, same place, same everything. Uh, oh! <clears throat> Oh, uh, I gotta say something real quick, but go ahead. <laughs> and then also, if you want to know anything, just go to my website down in the description box. It uh, basically a huge sports thing. Other news, you know, I do basketball, hockey, you know, football. I do all that stuff. It's pretty cool. And that got me shocked right there. The football. A very. Oh, it's a very my cool website. Ever. Very good website. I recommend you check it out. Um. We have a Facebook page. We have all that stuff. Just go under contact me. That's all my stuff. So uh, that'll do it for me. Black with evil. Go ahead. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of that website, he just messaged. I not too long ago, I made a website. Um, Perry, if you would mind, would you do me a favor and post my website on there as well? Mm-hmm. All right, thanks, man. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. My first twenty. Well, not twenty. Not first, but. Yeah. Second, second twenty minute Speaking video. Of which, I gotta update my website anyhow. But go ahead. All right. So, if you would like to know any, like the current lineup for Capital Punishment and Slammiversary, if you guys don't know Slammiversary, it's a TNA pay per view. But if you want to know the full thing, there, just go to my website down in there. Go to PPVs. Check out the lineup. Um, upload or oh, I, oh, I also have uh, wrestling news up. WWE news, TNA news. Um, I'm getting really, I'm trying to do an ROH one, but I'm not really, I don't, I'm not focused on all of the ROH guys yet, so. Wait, um, wait, 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 what's an R-N-H? R-O-H. Ring of what Honor. What is that? Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. What is that? Ring of Honor? Is it going to be a new wrestling company? Not new, it's been a while. Oh, okay, okay, sorry about that. Sorry for the embarrassment. <laughs> Updated every day, guys. So if you would like your daily dose of wrestling news, go check out the website. It's a very good website, and also check out Black with Evils as well. Also a very good website. Um, we'll try and get Nasty one too if he wants to do one. So yeah, Nasty. What do you say? Would you I'll like do one? Uh, all right, man. I'll I'll give you a website later on. All right. Go ahead, Perry. Go ahead and do your closing now. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it for me, guys. Perry the Entertainer signing off. Black this with is Evil. Black with Evil and the 2011 con or, uh, Over the Limit Contest winner. That's the RKO Specialist. And we are signing off and peace out, peace guys. Peace out.